Assalamu alaikum everybody. Ramadan is coming up in 40 days. I cannot believe that we are almost there. So this video is about how to prepare for Ramadan before it arrives. I've categorized this video into three parts. First part is preparing your soul. Second, preparing your body. And third part is preparing your mind for Ramadan. I hope you'll get inspiration to better yourself before Ramadan, clear your mind and have a better lifestyle and get closer to Allah. And prepare yourself spiritually, mentally and physically to fully benefit from Ramadan. Ramadan is the month for our souls. The food for the soul or ruh is the remembrance of Allah. And what other best way can we remember Allah other than through praying? So it's essential to prioritize Salah by performing it promptly after the Adhan. If you're struggling with delaying Salah without valid reasons, now is the time that you can practice uh, praying on time. Give your Salah priority over anything else. Uh, this will help you establish a routine before the arrival of Ramadan. Enhancing your Salah experience involves beautifying your Salah by reciting verses very slowly, elongating your Ruku and Sujood and maintaining a calm pace. Avoid rushing and remember that Allah is watching you. That will give a more meaningful connection. Our Ruh is also satisfied and fed through something that Allah specifically sent, the Quran. Let's make an effort to recite Quran with our best Tajweed and uh, best pronunciation and our most best voice. Whoever knows how to recite Quran melodiously is a very lucky one, I must say. Let's all try to improve and beautify our recitation as well. Transitioning to a daily Quran recitation routine, especially before Ramadan, is very important. I highly recommend reciting at least one page of Quran a day. It will help you a lot. There is no better time to nourish and start feeding the soul than now as you prepare for Ramadan. So let's all try to pray extra sunnah prayers and uh, nafil prayers. I am making an effort to pray tahajjud and salat duha. I don't do it every day but I am trying. I am just uh, mentioning this so that you guys will also get an inspiration. Trust me the feeling is something else when you are adding these extra prayers. Tahajjud is a night prayer that is prayed in the middle of the night and Salat duha is prayed in the forenoon or late morning. Salat duha is a prayer with two rakahs. In the first rakah you have to recite Surat al-Shams and in the second rakah Surat duha Let's try to keep our tongue moist and heart open with dhikr and istighfar and develop these habits after praying during the rest of the day through tasks such as preparing food, completing household tasks, walking and whenever you remember. I bought this dhikr counter when I went for Umrah. I've never used it. I just took it out now and it's actually pretty good. I've seen this in Amazon as well. I can post the link for this in the description. I highly recommend learning more about Quran to build a, a beautiful connection with Allah's words. Listen to lectures on tafsir. You could even explore Quran journaling or take part in online halakas or seminars that expand your love for the words of Allah. I get asked a lot which tafsir I'm doing. I'm doing these free online or lectures by Taimiya Zubair. You can just Google Taimiya Zubair and you will get the entire details about her. Just open the Al Huda International page. In that you can see the entire tafsir divided into parts. Each class is just half an hour. So I just do this twice a week. So whatever extra information or explanation she gives regarding each verse, I write it down in a book. Sadaqah is actually from sleep, which is truthfulness. When a person actually truly believes then they will spend of what they have. Ramadan brings major changes in our daily routine. So if we don't prepare beforehand, some may find it difficult to settle in and get used to fasting in the first few days. We really need to be physically fit in order to fast during Ramadan or else our body may not be able to take the sudden change. So let's pay close attention and work on following the Sunnah of Prophet in Shaban in preparation to Ramadan. 
Start fasting now and make up the missed fast from last Ramadan or even before that. Beginning to make up for missed fasts might seem challenging initially. However, by gradually fasting at least twice or thrice a week, it becomes more easier. Just think that if you can fast during Ramadan, you can definitely fast before that as well. If you don't have any fasts to make up, try fasting on Mondays and Thursdays. Also on Ayyam ul the white days, which is the 13th, 14th and 15th of each Islamic month. That would be on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of February. Okay, I'm going to tell you again, I'm not that perfect person who does all of these deeds um, regularly. I'm also trying my best. This uh, video is a reminder for myself first and for all of you guys. Next thing that you can do for your body is going healthy. Work on being energized with healthier eating habits. Eat a healthy breakfast. Eliminate snacks slowly leading to the month of Ramadan. Look for healthier options. We've been trying to eat healthy nowadays. Alhamdulillah and it's going good. Um, inshallah I'll be sharing a lot of healthy recipes in the coming videos. So stay tuned for that. This is a detox water that we drink thrice a week and uh, this is a wheat and chicken soup that I made recently and I've been trying different types of salads and smoothies inshallah let me know if you are interested in recipes like this usually when I post healthy recipes it doesn't get much uh, viewers so if you guys are interested, I'll definitely post such recipes, inshallah. Do let me know in the comments. I would like to give credit to With A Spain website. This video was inspired by the numerous ideas and preparations I gathered from their well-organized and nicely categorized content on getting ready for Ramadan. Another tip that I would like to give is to reduce your caffeine intake so that the lack of your morning coffee or afternoon tea doesn't make you sluggish during the first few days of Ramadan. The most important step to preparation for Ramadan is to prepare our mind. Closeness to Allah is all about a clutter-free mind that can focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without much distraction. Let's avoid getting preoccupied with tasks like decluttering, buying gifts or getting Eid dresses or planning meals during Ramadan. Completing these beforehand allows us to prioritize worship and focus on Allah during the sacred month. Let's also try our best to cut down on the time that we spend on social media and reduce watching TV series and movies etc. before Ramadan arrives. I'm working on reducing my social media usage. It's been a challenge because I'm like literally hooked onto it nowadays. Anyway, another thing that I have to do is make a list of things to buy before Ramadan, especially Islamic books. It's so difficult to get good Islamic books here in Kuwait. So I am looking for good websites to place my order. Let me know if you know of any good website for Islamic books, especially for kids. If you are planning on buying new musalla or prayer mat, you can do it now itself and keep it ready. I won't be getting new masala this year because I'm using the same one which is my favorite. Many of you asked me from where I got this masala. This was actually a gift from my sister and she bought it from a shop called Museum. It's there in Dubai Festival City and I've seen the same shop in Mecca, Saudi Arabia as well. Uh, it might be available in other locations. I cannot confirm though. This year again I'm going to get new prayer dress stitched inshallah. This was from last year and I've used it a lot and I like to have a new pair of prayer dress for Ramadan to give a fresh feel. Even uh, you guys were interested in my prayer dress. This was a customized one. I bought the material and got it stitched from here. The brown one is a cotton silk satiny kind of material. Uh, it's not purely satin, it's got a cotton blend I feel. And this one, the white and blue is a very soft cotton material it's perfect during summer so when you're purchasing the material for your prayer dress try to get the light airy ones so that you don't feel uncomfortable while praying 
I also kept the kids Eid dresses ready now itself. I had to order some undergarments for Omar because I'm potty training him now. So while I was ordering that, I went ahead and ordered the kids Eid dresses also. So inshallah, I don't have to think about that during Ramadan. Every year I make Ramadan calendars for the kids. This is the old Ramadan calendar that I made. It's a clip from my old Ramadan calendar video which I just inserted here. I've used these calendars for three years and last year I got rid of it. So this year I am contemplating whether to make a new one or to buy a ready-made version. I have no idea so I have to plan that as well. Inshallah, I'll post the link for this uh, Ramadan calendar video in the description. Please do check that out if you're interested. If you have kids, then decorating the home for Ramadan would give a whole new experience to them. So now is the time to stock up on the Ramadan decor items. I've seen many shops are already displaying decor items for Ramadan. Another thing that can help in a clutter-free mind is cleaning your home. Inshallah, I'll be posting a video on how to deep clean your house in one month by tackling small areas slowly. So wait for that video, Inshallah. And lastly, improve your sleep schedule. Adjust the sleeping pattern to get used to the Ramadan sleep routine, Inshallah. That's all in this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do like, share and comment on this video. If you haven't, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.